Hello everyone and today I'm going to show you how you can easily speed up as well as pause and resume your Windows file transfers. Now if you've ever transferred large files uh, in Windows you'll know how painfully slow it can all be. Now uh, in order to speed this up I've came across a really good free program that can be downloaded and it will allow you like I said just to speed up your Windows file transfers it's really lightweight and it just takes over the standard um, transfer service that Windows uses so I'll there. Uh, I'll show you that in just a minute, but uh, here's the download page just here. This will be linked in the description, It's uh, this tells you a little bit about it. tells you how it actually transfers the files faster and about how you can pause and resume the files as well as uh, come up with error recovery and have file lists. But anyway, if you want to download this, just head over to the download page here. And then you can go ahead and download either the most recent beta or just the most recent stable release by pressing one of these download buttons here. Anyway, once you've had this, I'll give you a quick um, overview of how this works. So, on my desktop, uh, desktop here, I've got two folders, one called Photos and a new folder. Now what I'm going to do is, is just copy this folder and paste it inside this folder here. Now as you can see, instead of the normal Windows um, copy file dialog box that came up, I get Terracopy pop-up. Now it tells me um, like normal information such as the percentage of how much is done and the uh, write speed but I can also do things such as pause the transfer, skip over files and cancel it. Now this is a really great simple program if you've ever been transferring large files and just decided that you have to stop it. With this you can now pause it instead of having to cancel the entire copy and start again. As well as this you get a few more options. You can uh, press this to close the window when the file transfer is complete. If you tick this here, uh, it'll. I believe this one does a check on the files after they've been transferred. And you can do all different selections here. For example, this will eject a drive once the transfer is complete. So for example, if you had a USB stick plugged in and you transferred a file to it, this would um, eject the drive once it's done. And also this is one to shut down your computer when the transfer is complete. Now this could be really useful if you're transferring a large file and you have to go out while it's doing it. If you've gone out you may want your computer to shut down once it's done so you can press that and that will happen. But anyway I'm just going to resume this and just uh, let you have a quick look at this and it's pretty good. It's um, I haven't really checked the write speeds and seen whether it is any faster but it's uh, even if it isn't any faster just to have the ability to pause it's so much better and there's been plenty of articles online that say about how much faster it is so um, if you want to read one of these I'll put a link in the description but uh, thanks for watching this video I hope that this will help you it certainly has for me but anyway I'll see you in my next video